Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And I am so glad you are here today with me. And you know we're going to talk about something and everything. We're going to get into it. But I just wanted to say hello and hopefully each and every one of you all are doing fantastic. Welcome back. That's the next thing I have to tell y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the channel. Me you had to come over here. No, sure did. But you were like, let me go see what they're talking about. I know she ain't talking about nothing but a piece of shit. But it's something. And I'm going to go on over there and get me my, li my little kikis and my little ha-has. Okay? But don't forget, as you come into the house, or if you're when you leave in the house, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Come off that fence. Come off that curb. Come from in the bushes. Just come on into the house. And I say welcome to my YouTube family. Okay? But as we always have to say, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. You know I like the comments. Even though y'all be coming for a sister, but it is what it is. That is my channel. Okay? That's my original channel. And this is my second channel. All right? We need you all to go over there, do your thing, uh, subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow. All right? But we know we have to use this fair disclaimer act. Everything we doing over here is alleged. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Get it into your mind. Everything you're hearing over here at the house is alleged. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know nothing to be factual because we too sorry to go into it. No, just to go in into investigating the situation. Unless it's just one thing that just, you know, just picking at me, just gnawing at me. And I have to go see it for myself. But then that would be an exclusive. Okay? So, we don't get too much into those. But you know we got to have a talk. We got to have a conversation. We got to get into it. Because this person that we're going to be talking about. Child. <laughs> Child, I can't keep it undercover any longer. We got to talk about it. We got to have a conversation. And why don't we get right on into it? And we're back. Back talking about Krishan and what Krishan felt about Tamar's uh, statement. On social media, talking about her fake crying. She really wasn't crying. And then she got some partner with her, meaning another girl, trying to put their two cents in about what happened at Tamar's concert. Okay? But my thing is, I thought we were going to at least have 48 hours before Krishan come back. I knew she was coming back. But I said, give her 48 hours. Charlie went in 48 hours. This woman coming back up. I'm like this, that, and the third. And none of it's making sense. She's dropping plenty of elf bombs up in there. And talking about everybody was grown. Everybody knew what everybody was doing. Just that, that. I'm like, girl. Krishan, Krishan, Krishan. First of all, baby, you know when something just not adding up. When you start to get that gut feeling that something not acting up, then you excuse yourself. Okay? And let the chips fall where they may. You don't let people take you to a place you don't want to be. You don't want to visit. Girl, but let's get into what Krishan called herself talking about. Um, let's see. Hey, nigga, go ahead and try to press charges that you can't press. Go ahead and try to file a lawsuit that you can't even file a lawsuit on. You know why? Because I'm that bitch and I'm covered, bro. Covered by God, bro. That's real shit. So everybody that got something to say about it, suck my shit. I swear to God, y'all already sucking it. So I got sucking it too much. I had to take it away. And first of all, you're not supposed to swear. You're not supposed to swear to God on anything. Okay, because you can't add nothing. You can't subtract nothing from your life. You can't even uh, get the numbers of hairs or in your head. Okay, it's something you just don't know. And that's something you should not be doing. Then you're going to tell somebody to suck your D-I-C-K when you're a female. You don't have one, baby. You should have said, eat my ussy. You know what I'm saying? But you're going around here acting like you're a male. And I'm sick of it. you too girly looking, pretty woman, pretty body. Had a baby. Because a man sure can't have a baby. And then you come around here talking about suck your F. I mean, your dick. I'm like, girl. 
Krishama, you're doing too much, baby. You are just doing too much. And then, of course, you always want to blame somebody else. Don't let nobody drive the car that you bought. Don't let nobody tell the narrative when you can tell your own narrative. Start your own narrative. And that's what you've been doing since you've been on. Since you've been put on by Blueface. Now, we as both women, I could see where you feeling some kind of way about Blueface doing you the way he did. But you knew what you were getting yourself into again. You knew this. You just thought it was going to turn out to be something different. You didn't have a plan B, C, D, E, F, G. You didn't have another plan to fall back on. But how they say you learn and you live, you learn and you live. Or you live and learn. Okay? You live life to the fullest. And you learn from each shortcomings, each fails. But of course, it's like, well, they owe... They ch cloud chaser. If you know what the business is all about, then you don't go those avenues. You be like a free agent. You be like a free contractor. You be like a free artist who can do anything, work with anybody. Hello, Just know you're not going to be on the big uh, forefront. But you want your cake and you want to eat it too. Then you sitting up here, got your friend all running for you. Um, if this friend wasn't there when stuff actually got to popping off, they don't need to be saying nothing. Because everybody's just going on what you've shown them thus far of your reality. How you get down. And that's the only way people can base their questions or their solution on what's going on with you. Okay? But Krishan, 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 you have a baby. You have a two-month-old baby that needs you. That means we need you to be on point every day, all day. Or you can rest assured somebody else will be raising your baby. But like I said, you had to go on, put your little two cents in, didn't do like you said you were going to do, which was stay off social media for a while, keep your accounts deactivated, and all that good stuff. But that didn't happen. You let people bring you back out to the social media. Well, they brought your behind back out on social media because you felt, well, I need to say something. They saying something. Or maybe your camp was saying, girl, you need to go up there and say something. Because they dragging you. They doing this. They doing that. And you fell for it. I mean, can't you see the same thing that they're seeing on social media? Can't you see? What the blogs are talking about. So it's like, no, honey. Ain't nobody putting pieces together. And forming their own opinion on you. We ain't doing that. We're judging you on the fact of, uh, that you came out and said something. And it really wasn't something you needed to come out and say. Just let each and every one that was privy to the information say what they got to say from their own perspectives. And that's it. But let's go back to hear her talking again. Reverse, nigga. Fuck out of here. Y'all got me fucked up. Oh, you have mine? And it's cool. Oh, you know. You trying to embarrass me publicly like... I deserve that. That's cool. That's real cool. That's real cool. Be safe. That's all I got to say. You're over there fake crying. Be safe. Be safe. That fake crying ain't gonna save you. Be safe. Straight up. Fuck is you talking about? Royal, let that stand up, though. Bitch ass niggas. Broke ass bitches. Fuck is you talking about? Everybody know what the fuck they doing. They old as shit know what the fuck they doing. Y'all all dried up. Know what the fuck y'all doing, bro. So, all right. When I come back to the IG, I'm only fucking with myself and my son. Straight up. Yeah. And then when I... Nigga, when I drop my account back, I'm dropping, nigga. And I'm going to pop my shit on that verse, nigga. Fuck out of here. Y'all got me fucked up. Oh, you have mine? And it's cool. You try to embarrass me publicly like... I deserve that. That's cool. That's real cool. That's real cool. Be safe. That's all I got to say. You're over there fake crying. Be safe. Be safe. 
That fake crying ain't gonna save you. Be safe. Straight up. Fuck is you talking about? Royal, let that stand up, though. Bitch ass. Now, I'm concerned. <laughs> and I'm sure Broke uh, Tamar, as well as James, Camp feels that. Well, she she trying to say she going to get you in the dark. Is that what Christian's saying? She going to get you in the shadows. Tell some be safe. Everybody should be being safe. Christian, you should be being safe. Sitting up there low-key and threatening uh, all parties involved if they don't uh, agree with what you're saying out there. Keep them hands down and off of other people. It's what your camp should be saying. And they should have been saying, oh, no, 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 no. We ain't letting you get out here and say whatever you think you want to say. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. You could continue to take care of your baby. Because that's really all that matters. And you keep making your public appearances. And wherever you can perform, perform. But no more than that. No more than that. But let's hear what James had to say, because he called himself being at the dentist, which it looks like in a dentist environment. Mm hmm. But he's not, or he has yet to show his face. Um, he said he's too messed up, and he's not going to do it. Okay? So let's see what he has to say. Hold on. assumptions and how people feel and what people think they know. I am at the end right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed and that's what's happening right now. So don't get online saying what didn't happen, it didn't happen. And no, I'm not going to show my face. My face is beat. If you guys see my face, you can be pissed off. My face is it's toe up. So right now, I have to get teeth fixed. That's damage. Well, yes, he's saying he has. Hold on. So. Hold on. Why did not press no fucking charges? Here's the thing. Why would there they no press no charges? Why would there no police? No, it's not even that. The bitch is not going to have no more space. Why did he show his face? Why did he show his face? It showed everything. Niggas ain't touching it. No, niggas ain't touching it. If that was the case, they would have had the police at the emergency room. They would have had the police at the emergency room. She would have got hit. Right. She said, okay, I wish it was me. I said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody is crazy. I'm not going to go by That shit. Oh, hey. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Okay. This is what? Wait till we go down. Yeah, wait till I go down. All right. Give me that thing thing, and I'm going to go okay. say hi to OG. Right. Where is he at? He's right there. Oh. Man, listen. Bottom of you want to beat me again? Uh, you so listen, y'all. They say you need to take legal action. Get ready. But here's the thing. Okay, but here, no, 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 no. Listen to this, though. They didn't about legal action. No, they not press no fucking charges. Here's the thing. Why would they not? They didn't press no charges. Why would no, it's not even that. The bitch is not going to have no more space. She she said, said, if I win, why did he show his face? He showed the distance. He showed everything. Niggas ain't touching you. No, niggas ain't touching you. If that was the case, they would have had the police at the at the emergency room. She said, I wish it was me. I said, oh, my God. And see, Krishan is laughing and kicking and ha-ha. And all this stuff. But if she's going to have to come back full circle. These same people that she's giggling and laughing at. Are they going to have to see her again? If she's going to have to come and be in their presence to get a job. To be in their environment. To be in their circle. I'm like, girl, you can't be doing all of this. And then hiding your hand. You know, because you could sue them for defamation of character. If this was the case, and that's where you should be headed. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's lying on you and you can prove that they're lying on you or, you know, what have you, go and countersue them with defamation of character, saying you did something that you know you didn't do or something to that degree. 
But she like, ain't nothing happen. And then this and that. Why he won't show his face? I mean, how and why and who are you to be saying what he should be doing? Okay. Now, I know it's good enough as anybody else to have been through some fire and come on through. The Lord just brought us on through. I know a lie can be uh, dressed up and sold and believed as the truth. Yes, that can happen. But the only thing that I'm saying is, why are you getting into it with everybody you work with to a certain degree? Or people you know in the industry. Now it's Tamar and her friend James. And before that, it was uh, little Mabu. I think that's his name. And, and then you were just in it to it. Okay, not to win it with Jaden Alexis. But, you know, you talking about her, talking about Blue. I mean, it's just like, okay, when are you going to center yourself and say, okay, I cannot act this way. I know I'm 23, but I have a lot on me that a lot of people are dependent on me, and I have a child to take care of. Because Blue go back and forth. The mama of Blue go back and forth whether or not that's your, his child. And that's stupid because there ain't no way in the world I would be sitting here with him and let him come in and out or however you want to go. And he don't have a certain position. You know, he got to play a certain position. And the main position would be for him to definitely claim that child as his own. Even if he didn't want to take care of the child, he want to be a deadbeat or this, that, and the third. Because in my book, he would have been cut off. Being cut off, we wouldn't have been talking about him no more. People, interviewers would have been coming up saying, what about you? And I'm be like, who? Who? I'd be like a little owl up in that mess. We would not even say his name. I would have blotched or put makeup on my neck and the side of my neck. Uh-uh, it wouldn't have been shown. But, you know, like I said, Krishan wants to get on the gaze real hard and press them. And talk about, oh, they, they like boys or whatever. But when you're looking at a female, you can't go hard on them. You can't talk about them. So I'm like, if you ain't going to give one the attention that you give the other, don't mess with neither one of them. I mean, you're the one that everybody is definitely looking at because this is your pattern of behavior. You don't get what you want or you feel you want to press people. You want to go put hands on them. And that's not right. It's definitely not right at all. So you got DJ Sky over there trying to be in your corner, trying to add up, you know, what's not even addable. And if it was a big deal to a certain degree, why don't, and it's truthful, why don't you and James get on a, what do you call it, a Zoom call? And he be there. He could show his face or not show his face or whatever. But I, it's just a big stretch that we would definitely try to believe you, Krishan. Because you always joking. You always playing. You always, you know, doing this, that, and the third. You got people over here saying you were supposed to come out. They was ready to play your little vibe song. But you weren't there. You weren't at, you weren't at the side of the stage uh, where you were supposed to be. And then you're, you know, some this guy was saying that, oh, no, you need to, uh, or they were looking for you. They couldn't find you. So they went on to the next person. But uh, this is a man, uh, Tamar's road manager, coming up here saying something to the effect that, yeah, you did. Yeah, he called the police. And, yeah, charges were filed. But let's see if we can get him to say a little something, something. Hold on. Yeah. Troy brought her out a cake. Tamar put her hands in the cake. She had a right hand full of cake and some cake in her mouth. And Krishan came out and was like, where you going, sis? Got to go on stage. And I'm looking like, huh? I'm like, what's, what's happening? And Tamar, like, the, the show is over. What do you mean? She said, I'm about to go on stage. And she's like, huh? You ain't, you ain't been out? You haven't went out there already? Because she was supposed to go out during the twerk session. She hadn't been out. She, she, Krishan hadn't been out. So I was like, come on, ladies, let's just take this in the dressing room. And in the dressing room, it was me, Tamar, and Krishan. Tamar was trying to figure out why hadn't Krishan, why didn't Krishan go out during the twerk session? And she's looking at me, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, 
Krishan, I, I don't know why she didn't go out. So Krishan breaks down and starts crying. And I felt bad. And the Holy Ghost in me, because I carry it everywhere with me, I begin to give her a hug and everything like that. Because I like Krishan. I like her. And, you know, and I was like, I don't want to see nobody with their feelings hurt or I don't want nobody feeling some sort of way because there was a big line of miscommunication that took place. So I began to try to comfort her and, and hug her and be like, no, don't cry because it's not that. You know what I'm saying? We Nobody was trying to. I don't want you to feel no sort of way. And this was just in the dressing room. And this was me, Krishan, and Tamar at the time. As the time went on, Krishan was explaining that this happens to her all the time and she felt some sort of way because she felt embarrassed. She felt embarrassed and she felt like, you know, that this is just like, that shouldn't happen to her because, you know, she was just prepared to go out during a twerk session and that time had come and she didn't go out. David and Mooney come in. They both do makeup. And we're all at this point talking about what happened. Tamar is saying, Mooney, what happened? Da, da, da. Mooney was saying that Krishan was not on the side of the stage when it was time for the twerk part. Mooney is a choreographer and he also does makeup. Mooney was saying Krishan was not on the side of the stage. And then James comes in the room. So at this point, it's me, Krishan, David, Mooney, Tamar, James. James comes in the room and notices that Krishan is upset. By the mirror, Krishan is on the right-hand side. James is right next to her. He was consoling her. And I was literally right next to James. And Tamar asking James, well, what happened? Why didn't Krishan go out there during the twerk session? And James said, the stage.